I'm Chad Simmons, director of recruiting for On3. This is another edition of Simmons Scoop. Welcome aboard. And this time, as you can tell, I'm not in my office, in my home in the Atlanta area, but on the road coming to you remotely from Montgomery, Alabama, always on the road seeking the latest recruiting intel. And we'll start with a kid I saw play over the weekend in the Freedom Bowl, offensive tackle Bo Hewley. He's a Georgia commitment from the Atlanta area, visited Auburn uh, late in July. He's been to Auburn four, five, six times since committing to Georgia last fall. And the buzz has been strong. I think it's uh, worn off a little bit since that visit in July, and that's probably the way he wants it. But Auburn's still right there. He's connected uh, very well with head coach Brian Harson. Uh, he'll be back at Auburn for games this season. And I think Auburn's a real threat to Georgia, but I still like Georgia right now uh, as, you know, really into, I guess, a good position, I should say. Uh, obviously, nothing's ever final. Uh, he'll be back at, in Athens for games this fall. And I think, obviously, with Stacey Searles, Del McGee, Kirby Smart, I still like where Georgia's at. Auburn is the biggest threat, and the threat is real, though, uh, for the Georgia fans watching. And I think you cannot sleep on Ohio State. I think Healy will, will take some visits. His teammate Jelani Thurman's committed to the Buckeyes. Ohio State's come in and started some communication with Healy. Uh, I think that intrigues him a little bit, but I do like where Georgia's at for Bo Hewley. A couple of commitments coming up uh, this weekend. I think Oklahoma, who has a top 10 class, I think, what, two five stars, 10 four stars, off to a great start under new head coach Brent Venables, uh, could be in line for some good news. Will it be one or two commitments for them on Friday, August 26th? You have four star DB Macari. Vickers deciding and then three-star wide receiver Anthony Evans. I think they're in the best spot right now for Vickers, who's been out there three or four times. I think Alabama is the biggest competition for Oklahoma in this race. And uh, his former teammate, good friend, Terion Arnold, signed with Bama a couple of years ago. The two are very much in contact. Bama's done a good job recruiting Vickers, but I like where Oklahoma's at. Uh, he was out in Norman over the summer. He's had a great relationship with Venables, that coaching staff, Jay Vela, the DB's coach who went from Alabama to Oklahoma. And I like where Oklahoma's at for Vickers. Not so much for Anthony Evans. I think there's confidence on both sides, both Oklahoma and I think Georgia is very much in this. Kirby Smart hired Brian McClendon to be his receivers coach for this reason, to go get better receivers, upgrade that room, and bring speed to Athens. Evans has that. He plays fast. He's a kid that's become a, a top target for Georgia. I think there was a lot more confidence in the Oklahoma camp maybe two or three weeks ago. Uh, I put my prediction in for Georgia back in late July. I still like Georgia there for Anthony Evans. Another kid to watch coming up that will announce his commitment probably September 1st is a Lance Hurd, five-star offensive tackle for us out of Neville High School in Louisiana. You've heard a little bit about, I think, Houston at one time, Texas. He was at Florida State uh, in July. I still like where LSU's at, and I think Nebraska's the biggest competition. He took an official visit to Nebraska. Uh, he has a former teammate, A.J. Allen, a running back that signed with the Cornhuskers in February. So there's a connection there. Then Mickey Joseph is there too. He was one time at LSU uh, that got to know Hurd and, and knows all about that Neville uh, powerhouse program in the northern part of the state. So there's connections there, but I still like where they're at with Brad Davis, uh, Joe Sloan, multiple off the field uh, guys involved from LSU. It's an in-state program. He has his former teammate, Will Campbell, at LSU. I like LSU in the better spot. Again, don't sleep on Nebraska, but I like where LSU's at for Zalance Hurd. We'll close with this. Talented wide receiver, Carnell Tate. Uh, one time I thought was a Tennessee lean. Uh, went back towards Ohio State late before committing to the Buckeyes earlier this summer. Don't think he's done just yet. Tennessee, uh, there's some chatter. There's some buzz behind the scenes that the communication has picked back up with the coaching staff in Knoxville. Uh, at one time, I was probably about 80% sure that Tate was going to end up at Tennessee. Uh, he has that connection with Brian Hartline. Ohio State obviously has produced wide receivers. He's from the Midwest Chicago area. He's close friends with Brandon Ennis. There's a lot still 
that helps Ohio State here. And he's still committed. Nothing's, you know, changed. Nothing's happened there. But there has been more, you know, talk, at least according to my sources, between Tennessee and Carnell Tate. And definitely something to watch. We know he's close to five-star quarterback Nico Imoliva. And the two are in strong communication. He knows other commitments there in this Tennessee class. And I'm not saying anything is imminent. But I think you have to keep an eye on Carnell Taylor as we progress through the season, as we close in on the early signing period. Tennessee's in this. They were at one time viewed, in my opinion, as the front runner. He's committed to Ohio State. They're now the leader. But keep an eye on the Tennessee Vols.